Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Ted Blank, and I am one of the travel advisors here at Travel Leaders in Minneapolis. And we're very excited to be talking again about river cruising with our partners at AMA Waterways. And so this week, we are going to take a look at some new experiences, new experiences that are going to be available in 2023 as you start to think ahead and plan for future trips. So it's my pleasure to welcome Marcy New, who is with AMA Waterways. And Marcy, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Ted. I'm delighted to be here. I appreciate the opportunity. Sure. Well, why don't you go ahead and get started and I'll, I'll kind of chime in a little bit as we go. So we'll let you take it away. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And I know we're focusing on 2023, but I think I have a couple of things maybe for 2022 in here too, but just updates. And I want today to go through just kind of the basics also quite quickly about AMA Waterways, just as a reminder. So, you know, we are family owned and family operated, owned by three different families back in the day. And about eight years ago, they consolidated to two families. So Christine and Rudy married. And so now we have the two families, but Rudy um, is known for his innovation in the industry. And he is the only river executive that is actually in the Cruise Line Hall of Fame. So we're very, very proud of him. He builds our ships very different than any other river ship being more shallow at the draw and able to maneuver the river um, based on whether it's high water, low water, or beautiful, perfect water. And then, of course, we have beautiful Christine, who is very, very involved in our customer service, uh, our guest experience on board. And then, of course, we have Gary Murphy, who has taken the um, place of his father and carried on his father's legacy on the sales side with our advisors and guests all over the world. We cover the six largest rivers in Western Europe. So we've got the Danube River being the longest, largest river, more embarkation, debarkation ports than any other river. This river also is very mountainous in its region. It is very lush. It also has the beautiful vineyards that back up to the river's edge, as well as um, a lot of palaces on this river. We have some castles, but probably more palaces along this river, as well as some war history. So the Danube is the only river that allows us to do 14 consecutive sailing days because of the length of the river. Then we go over here to our number two, running a very close tie to number one uh, as our most popular, and that is the Rhine River, taking you from the beautiful floating country of the Netherlands right on down into Switzerland or upstream the opposite direction. And this river is known for its castles. So this is a bit different than the Danube, but again, has beautiful topography. So very mountainous, but the mountains are a little more rocky, if you would. And uh, it has more castles, as I mentioned, and it also has a lot of war history. So uh, some beautiful opportunities there. Then we have the Mosul. And Marcia, the <coughs> excuse me, I am just super excited because I leave on Sunday for a cruise with uh, AMA Waterways on the Rhine. So I am just really excited to have that opportunity coming up. And um, it is it is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful river with incredible, um, the, the Rhine Gorge is just an incredible sight. So I'm very excited to be heading out in a few days. Well, fantastic, Ted. Thanks for joining us. Obviously, you've done the Rhine before. Have you done the Rhine before? So this is- I have, yep. It's a wonderful, wonderful river. Many parts of it are my favorites, as, as I always say. I know and, I always get asked the question, which river is your favorite? And it's kind of like choosing your children, which one is your favorite? It is, it is because each river has its own personality and it has its own opportunities. That's for sure. Well, and as I was mentioning, we have the Mosul and the Mosul is quite a lady. She's very narrow, very winding. Um, probably, I don't even know how to describe it other than something you would see in a Disney book. It is absolutely, I think, such a beautiful river. And um, this river is uh, beautiful little colorful villages at the water's edge and you look up and there's these magnificent castle structures right above you. Uh, but this river is short. So we combine it with the Mine Canal in the Danube and the Mine Canal in the Rhine. And this enables us to do seven, 10 and 11 day sailings. So you've got some nice variety there as well. Then you move over here to the Seine River and the Seine River is known as the River of the Arts. We visit Monet's home, Monet's gardens. You've got some Van Gogh influence in here, a little 
little bit of Renoir. But one of the most important things I think is we do a private uh, ceremony at the beaches of Normandy. So lots of history here as well. Then we take you down to the Garonne and the Dordogne rivers coming in off the Garonne estuary from the Atlantic. And this is Bordeaux. And of course, we all know Bordeaux, the old world wines of France or the world per se. Um, very beautiful. We visit a lot of gorgeous chateaus on this route. We have a lot of people that bicycle between city to city uh, doing this route as well. And then we come down to something a little more different, and that is Portugal and Spain, known as the Douro region on the Douro River. And this, you know, Portugal, the infrastructure of Portugal is not quite as established or developed as some of the other uh, countries in Europe. Just a little bit of information. Portugal just got their first high-speed train in 2019. So, um, and it was so high-speed, we don't use it. <laughs> we, did, we did for one year and they realized it wasn't so high-speed and we can get a little more of a better experience by taking you to some of these small villages along the way by motor coaching. So we have two ships uh, in the Portugal area. And let me tell you, this is an extremely popular river. So very difficult sometimes to find space. Uh, the ships are a bit smaller than the other ships in Europe at only 100 passengers. So if this is something of interest to you, please, please make your reservations as soon as you can. Um, and this area is known for it, its port wines in the world, and it's one of the only areas that also still grow the white grape. It is also known for cork. So lots of uh, really unique uh, features that this river has. I keep, hearing, I keep hearing the word wine. I'm kind of detecting a theme here as we go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You, you see that a little bit, Portugal, Spain, and France, as we know, you know, some of the vineyards in France are 2000 years old. So um, they've been producing the fine, some of the finest wines in the world, as you know, for many, many, many years. Now, I'm gonna take you over here to another region in France on the Rhone and the Saone rivers. And on the Rhone and Saone river, this is a, a new itinerary this year. Currently, um, or previously, we did Arles to Lyon. And that was as far as we went up the river, up the river. Now we go all the way up to chalon sur seon So if you're doing this river, keeping in mind that this river is where the beautiful lavender fields bloom in France. And at the same time our lavender fields are blooming, we have the beautiful landscape with the sunflowers. So you can imagine the gorgeous landscape that you see in this area. But something also very important is this area is known for gastronomy. This is one of the finest areas in the world for gastronomy. And Lyon is known as one of the finest cities in the world and number one in France for the same thing. But as you're traveling, if you do go all the way up to Chalon, you are passing through four wine regions. So every day, not only are you passing through and getting to experience the different wines, but you're also passing through the culinary experience. So if that is important to you, this is probably one of the most beautiful places that you could journey on the rivers. And then we come over here to our exotic destinations known as Asia, Southeast Asia, which is Vietnam and Cambodia. And this year we added Bangkok, Thailand. I must tell you, having done this itinerary, not too often do people walk up and say, I want to go to Vietnam and Cambodia. So I really, uh, we all have passengers that have been many, many places in the world. And I highly recommend this region if they have not visited this region, or maybe if they want to go back. It is, I think, very life-changing in a very positive way, seeing some beautiful topography, but such a simplistic way of life. And the people are so wonderful. And then we do Africa. Not many people think of Africa by water, but we are actually have one of the, the only luxury uh, vessel on uh, in Africa, and that is the Zambezi Queen. And we do, the Zambezi Queen only holds 28 people. So we do five different itineraries through Africa. Having done this myself and done our longest program up through the Serengeti and Mount Kilimanjaro and all of that, I would tell you, spend as much time as you can, but don't do Africa without doing Doing the river because after 21 game drives on land and river, I have to tell you, I saw so much by river. It was 
totally amazing. And I don't want you to miss that opportunity. And then we also visit on this. Every one of our itineraries visit Victoria Falls or one of the seven wonders of the world. As we visit a seven, one of the seven wonders of the world in Asia, also known as Angkor Wat. Then we come down to Egypt and we are just now starting Egypt. It started September 5th of this year uh, on the Amadalia. And I'm going to show you some pictures, but it has been absolutely hugely successful. And um, it is an 11 night program and I have more information on that that we'll cover. One of the most important things is that, um, you know, we have many, many awards, but Berlitz is a travel writer, been writing travel for many years, probably I think now about 50 years. And they came on board our ships in 2016 and gave us the top 10 awards for the finest experience that you will have in Europe. And we since then have carried on those awards. So very important. We have the highest rated ships in Europe. And um, I think that's very important sometimes uh, for people to realize that we, you, just, you have to achieve those ratings. They don't just aren't just, you know, frisbeed out, if you will, but they've been on our ships. They continue to come to our ships and, and rank and rate our ships. So very, very important for the guests to know. And we are. You know, Marcy, Marcy, I'll just I'll quick interject, but, you know, a lot of a lot of folks aren't aware that there are a lot of different um, cruise brands that operate on river cruises. Um, mm -hmm. There certainly are more than just one. And I think, you know, when you take a look at the differences between them, um, looking at those those impartial rankings really gives you a sense as to how nice of a job the um, the whole team at Ottawa Waterways does to pull together a great experience both on land and by sea. Um, that's that's different than some of the other river cruise experiences out there. It is, Ted, and thank you for pointing that out. We work diligently at AMA to achieve our awards every year and to maintain um, those five-star awards that we've had for, for numerous years, and, and we're very grateful for that. It's all about the guest. It's all about the guest experience, but it's also all about the advisors that make the investment in knowing the product, experiencing the product, and being able to fit a customer to what is good for them, for their, to really exceed their expectation on their, with their vacation dollar. So we are back. I did want to mention that we are the only ones that operated during COVID last year, July 5 through the first week of November, carrying approximately 1800 passengers and with no incidents, but it allowed us to really put our protocols in place. And when we did that, we perfected them and we were back this year, July 3rd was our first sailing. Currently, we have 20 ships in the water, and we are running uh, all of our itineraries with the exception of the Mekong, because Vietnam is still closed. And we hope to see that open the first quarter. And reasons to river cruise, if I haven't already given you all of them, I'm going to share some more. But we have always been one of the river lines that have one of the few that have operated with very small groups with our guides. And it was always about 20, maybe 22 people. Now they're even smaller. Now we're doing 12 to 14 people with a guide. We will maintain that even after the COVID uh, is erased and it will never be gone. We're just going to learn to deal with it like the vi flu virus and everything else. But we will remain uh, with our smaller groups. And I think it's important we break these down by a Ability. So we have gentle walkers, regular walkers, and active walkers. The most important thing for us is that every single one of our guests get to experience these beautiful villages and cities that we visit at their own pace. And then, of course, Christine's passion is wellness and health, and it should be all of our passions. Um, so we do have the wellness instructor on all of our ships in Europe, and they teach five classes a day. You do not have to sign up for these classes. You can just show up for these classes. They do not conflict with your other tours, and they will range in timing from 30 to 45 minutes. And it might be Zumba or cardio or core stretching uh, or some maybe some dancing or strength training, but we really do some fun things with them. Last time I was on board, Ted, I did the yoga class and we did yoga and champagne tasting. <laughs> I had no idea that you could hold a champagne glass so many different ways doing it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, my last cruise, um, just the kind of the um, afternoon stroll around the deck as the ship sail was really popular. You know, our group of people would get together with the wellness host and um, yep. Just go for a walk and you could walk as 
long as you wanted to. And, you know, there were some people who made a couple laps and some who stuck with them until the, I don't know, they, they walked all the way to uh, Cologne, I guess. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, it has become very, very popular with our guests. And the other thing is it is complimentary. Very important. It's complimentary to the guest. And no one goes on vacation for no good food. We have to have that five-star rating for a reason. And that's because uh, one of the many reasons is because of our beautifully, um, beautifully designed uh, menus that change every single day on board based on the region that we're traveling. Keeping in mind that these ships are small and we do not have storage space. So you are eating very, very healthy. Our foods are fresh and locally sourced with our local farmers, growers, and markets. So these are, and really we are one of the only um, river lines that has been inducted into the Lachine Road de Sewer signature, which is basically a culinary uh, society established in 1248. And it is an amazing honor to have this. Uh, they boarded our ships in 2014 and inducted us into this society. What it really means to our guests is that we have five-star dining at every turn with many, many beautiful choices. The other thing that we have is we have the, um, in the mornings, we have sparkling wine and fresh mimosas to kickstart those tours. At breakfast, at lunch, we have premium wines and international beers available to our guests and the same at dinner. And your menu will change as your wines change every single day so that you are experiencing the culinary explosion, if you will, of each and every region we travel. We also have coffee cafes, and the coffee cafes are available 24 hours a day with some of the finest espressos, cappuccinos, lattes, but the best hot chocolate in the world because it's made with Swiss chocolate and the International Tea Station as well. And then we have the chef's table. So two, two dining venues on um, almost the entire fleet except for one ship. And the chef's table is a fabulous experience. It's a nine course meal paired with all of the local, again, paired with premium hand selected wines of those regions. And this is an amazing experience. So often, Ted, I find that people, for whatever reason, maybe they're busy on board and they don't hear us talking about this and they miss it. And I never want anyone to miss this. This is an amazing experience. It's, and a, it's, it's equivalent to dining in a Michelin star restaurant it just it's it's superb it is it is yeah. and, and for groups of people traveling together groups of friends or families um you know this is the perfect place to celebrate that special occasion that birthday or that anniversary um i was i was with the group on the rhine and we celebrated a birthday in the chef's table and i don't think there was a dry eye afterwards it was just such a magical experience and you know they ended with cake and everybody saying happy birthday and German and it was it was really a still kind of gives me a little chill up my spine as I think about it. It was a great, great time. You know, those are, um, as we say, we create life memories when we are on our vacations and our getaways. And that's, as you mentioned, one of the most important things is such a special memory of those times. And this is all complimentary to our guests. If you're not traveling with a group, you make your reservations when you get on board. No problem. And now our twin balcony ships. So I just wanted to show you the 135 meter vessel, um, remembering that we are the only ones that have swimming pools on the top deck of these vessels and they are heated year round. So I have a lot of people that visit the Christmas markets when I went last time and we had eight people that swam every single day in the Christmas markets. It was very much fun. I my bathing suit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. I might say that their uh, robes were very close to the water's edge because it was a bit chilly, but they certainly enjoyed their journey and that as an option. So we have the fixed window staterooms, as you'll see right here. You can stand up and look out and see what's taking place, but if we dock on that side, you see the dock. So I always say, do nothing short of a French balcony or a twin balcony based on the ship that you're traveling. But the French balconies have um, a beautiful doors that open. And the only thing is you just don't step out. There's a railing right there. And we are known for our twin balcony, uh, in the innovation of our twin balconies. So this stateroom has a French balcony right here. So you can be inside getting the fresh air of the river, seeing the beautiful sights, but not in the elements. 
students. And over here in the same stateroom, you have a step out balcony with tables and chairs. You can shut the door behind you to control the temperature in that stateroom, which is really, really important. And then we also have, we're the only ones on the river that have connecting staterooms. We have 12 of these on the 135 meter ships that delivered from 2016 and on, which is a large amount of our fleet. And then, of course, we have triple and quad accommodations. We're the only ones on the river with this. And these all came about when we um, signed on to be Disney's preferred river line. And we needed to create staterooms that would accommodate more than just two people because they were introducing river cruising to the multi-generations. So it works out beautifully. And then of course we have our beautiful suites, our pioneering space in those suites. And there's not many of those and believe it or not, they sell out first. So if you are the suite guest, we need to get you and get your booking done ahead of time so we can accommodate that suite that you are looking for. The Ama Magna is one of a kind. We are the only ones on the river that have done this type of creation. It was five years in the making and delivered in May of 2019. This ship looks different because in Europe, we cannot build our ships longer than 135 meters because it cannot clear the lock system. So we built this one double the width of any river ship. And the importance of that, Rudy was really looking for a way to be able to offer more space and more options. So this ship has four dining areas, which are beautiful. And the staterooms range uh, over 60% of the staterooms will be from 355 square feet all the way up to 710. The other thing that you are seeing is another award we have over here, and this is called the Green Award. All of our ships in Europe have this award. We are the only river line that have been granted this award. And it is very important for us to maintain these beautiful destinations by making sure that we are staying green, whether it's our LED lighting, our double pane windows, our air systems, everything needs to be on the up and up so that we make sure that we maintain these beautiful cities and these rivers so that people can travel them for many, many more years. The Alma Magna does three different itineraries. It is on the uh, Danube River. It can only travel the Danube because of the lock system. It can clear the locks. And it goes from Budapest to Vilshofen, Germany or downstream, just the same. It also goes um, I'm very excited. This is the first year. It's doing the Lower Danube from Budapest all the way down into Rus or Zhirzhou, uh, uh, being Bulgaria or Zhirzhou, Romania. So this goes through the Iron Gates. This has become, uh, Ted, a very popular itinerary. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's, 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 the, um, it's a great choice for folks who have taken a river cruise before. Um, gives you a chance to see some new areas. And it is really interesting when you kind of cross the border into Hungary, how different Europe becomes, although how, how also how much the same it is. And as you continue to go east, it really changes and becomes a little more exotic maybe than we mm -hmm. would realize. And the um, Danube gets very, very narrower and much more, right. I guess, rugged topography and the right. iron gates are, iron gates are incredible. And you right. know, you're going to places that when I was a kid, Americans couldn't go to. That's exactly. And now, now you can go see some of the really incredible history and culture that was really taboo for us for such a long time. So very cool experience. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very beautiful experience and a wonderful way to see some of these countries that you might not normally venture out on on your own. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, this is something very new for us. I'm very, very excited about this. This is uh, the Grand Danube and we're going to do this in 2023. Uh, we have two sailings on this, but it is going to be a 14 day and the biggest, most exciting part of it is we're going to do it for the Christmas markets. So we are now going to experience for the first time the Christmas markets on the lower Danube through these beautiful lower Danube countries. And it's going to go from Vilshofen all the way down, as we said, to Zhirzhou, Romania. And this is the Alma Magna and the four dining areas. So you've got the main restaurant, you've got Al Fresco, and this is beautiful because these panels come down within just a few minutes and you're dining outdoors. This has been a favorite for many, many people that have traveled on the Magna. I think they're all really special. There's, let me tell you, you're gonna get fantastic food no matter where you are. 
And then this is the chef's table, as I mentioned, the one with the nine courses, the paired wines, the every plate prepared all a minute for each guest. And then you come over here to Jimmy's. And this is in honor of our founder, Jimmy Murphy. And he was a lovely man that so enjoyed dining with family, dining with friends, good food, good eats, great wine, and lots of crowds. Love to be surrounded with people and enjoy. And so uh, this is Jimmy's uh, in, in honor of him. He was such a lovely, lovely man. And yeah, then one, of the real, one of the real neat things about the Yama Magna, you mentioned it's twice as large, basically, as most of the regular river cruise ships, but it doesn't carry twice as many passengers. It's no, it does not. 20% more. So there is just so much space as you're going to talk here about in the staterooms and, and in the public areas and on deck, there's just so much space to spread out. It almost almost feels like you're on a yacht, you know, right. by your by yourself with your closest friends. Right. Absolutely. Well, that's a wonderful de description to a way to describe it, because over 60 percent of this ship starts at 355 square feet, as I said, and goes to 710. So these are the balcony suites where you've got the beautiful balcony available to you. And then you've got the grand suites, which um, there's a limited amount of these. But let me tell you, these are amazing. Back behind this, this headboard of this bed is this beautiful hallway with all kinds of closets and storage space and area for you to spread out and beautiful facilities for the restroom and the shower areas. So a lot of sitting space over here and then you've got your balcony again. The ship does offer something that no one else has to offer on the river. And then you're and because of because of that, it's um, it, it sells out very quickly. It and does. So if, if giving the Ama Magna appeals to you, um, giving it a try appeals to you. Definitely, always good advice to book early, but definitely even even more the case, and particularly as you mentioned with the suites, they're they're right. they go very quickly. Absolutely, absolutely. And then it has the open air sun deck with the pop up lounge area here. So um, we, this has a pool. It also has a hot tub area. And then we've got the lounge area up here so you can enjoy your favorite beverage while you are uh, sitting on the deck or maybe enjoying in the pool. But it's really a wonderful space because there's chairs enough for everyone up here and it's beautiful viewing of the river. And all of our ships have this top deck. So it's beautiful viewing, uninterrupted viewing, great picture taking, wonderful way to enjoy the day no matter what time of year it is. It's a beautiful place to be is up on these upper decks. So let's go through the upper dates. So the Ama Cristina, a beautiful vessel, 135 meters, um, is moving to France. She is moving to take over the itinerary of Provence and Spain, which is going to do the Arles to Lyon and return. Um, beautiful ship, beautiful itinerary for her as well. So she's already positioned there. And then we are going to do renter cruises this year on the Rhone. This is the first time we are offering the French Christmas markets. I am so excited about this. I've done the other Christmas markets numerous times on the Danube and the Rhine. And the only thing I can say is I never get tired of the Christmas markets ever. The ships are beautifully appointed already. And then you put Christmas decorations in them and it's magical. And so are the destinations magical. Well, I'm excited because December 2nd this year, I will also be on the Rhone experiencing the French markets. And I do have a little space left on my ship. So please <laughs> come and join me. If and the, French, the French do Christmas with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of panache. I mean, they they, they love these lights and these just incredible light displays and the it is. Know, window displays in the department stores in Paris and Lyon are just, you know, over the top. I mean, magical, magical lands. Absolutely. It is such a magical season. And I've always said, no matter where you are in Europe, they celebrate it so beautifully, whether it's decorations, whether it's just the Christmas trees that you walk through in a market, hundred fresh cut Christmas trees or the lighting. Absolutely beautiful. So now sailing on the Danube, the Amabella and the Amaverde, these were actually contracted out to our sister company and um, in Australia, and they have returned them to us. So now we have remodeled them. 
and they are they have a bright new shiny uh, appearance and a face and new fabrics and beautiful absolutely beautiful vessels so uh, very very much like our 135 meter vessels anyway but they they are just uh, all new so when you join us if this is going to be the one that works for your itinerary on the Danube on the Rhine they have all been reimagined and uh, beautifully done and here's just some of the beautiful artwork that has been selected for them to feature. And the seasons of Holland and Belgium. This year, for the first time, we listened to so many of our past guests that said, we want to see Holland and Belgium sometime other than tulip time. So we used to <laughs> Which do- is not a bad time. Tulip time is not a bad time to go. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. The third week of March through the first week of May. But now we're doing six sailings year round. So you can actually go and see Holland and Belgium all throughout the years. You can see it in the fall, as you see over here in Amsterdam with the leaves changing and turning into the canal system or in the summertime or in the tulip time. And Floria, this is the largest horticultural expo in the world, only takes place every 10 years and it was supposed to take place last year. Well, of course, because of COVID, we've moved it to 2022. Um, and it is everyone who includes Amsterdam in their itinerary with Alma Waterways will have passage to go to Floriad. So it is, if you are a gardener, if you know a gardener, this is going to be one of the most beautiful things to see and do. And like I said, it's only every 10 years. So it makes it very, very special time to be over there. And it starts in April and ends in October. So you can do it with tulips or without tulips. But let me tell you, the Netherlands always have beautiful flowers. So it does not matter what time you go. And I'm, we are very proud to say that Ancestry selected us to be a partner in the river, and we are going to be offering um, the pro genealogist or the genealogy with Ancestry, and it will be offered on um, this sailing uh, for 2022, and it's on the Rhine, and they, um, they have a, a program where they work with all of the guests on board prior to arrival. They uh, do all of their research on their ancestry. You don't even have to be from this area to, to join them on the ship, but if you are from this area, it makes it even more special because they're going to take you to where your family originated and all of these beautiful opportunities but it's a wonderful way to see and a wonderful way to learn about your own heritage. And this is really popular with people today, wanting to know where they came from, what their, um, their past generations were known for or did. So a really special, we feel very honored and we're very excited about this opportunity. And what's new on the Danube? So we are gonna do the celebration of classical music. I'm very excited about this one. And then majestic capitals on the Danube. We have two new land packages. First time that we will be visiting Krakow, Poland. So we're adding another country to these itineraries. And for many years we have visited Salzburg, but we never did a pre or a post extension in Salzburg. And what everybody says to us all the time, this is such a beautiful city, we need more time. So we have created a, pre, a post package or a pre-package in Austria in Salzburg for our guests. And then Gems of Southeast Europe, which we've already talked about on the Alma Magna, the Christmas and winter markets in 2023. I don't think it's I don't think it's possible to go to Salzburg and not uh, not break into at least one song from the sound of music. Exactly. There's so much else to see there Mozart's birthplace and other things but it's just the that's kind of an infectious infectious place to go the the spirit just kind of gets to you and it You'll does. be you know, humming Edelweiss by the time it's time to go. It is. It does. It is. And it's such a beautiful little village. It is. Yeah. It is so precious with the beautiful old stone streets and the buildings are very yes. high buildings and narrow streets and it just has so much but what we are doing on the classical music is we are doing some very special events and that is in Budapest at the magnificent opera house we're having a private recital Bratislava we're, we're uh, doing the walking tour with the music components Vienna we're doing the concert and classical music composers walk but we're in Salzburg we're going to visit Mozart's birth house and we're going to do a private music recital and if you've never seen the Melkin Abbey this is one of my all-time places I think everybody should see in their lifetime mandatory absolutely mandatory yep it is, and we're doing a private choir performance. Mm. 
So really, really special. And then this is where we're also offering the three night crack out Poland package. And then this will be seasonal. So we're doing it March, April, May, June, and November of 2023. And I've already spoken on this one. This is the 14 nights on the Grand Danube during Christmas time. So this will be all right at Thanksgiving into the first week of, uh, or the second week of December and the second week of December through Christmas. So if this is something you're interested in, this is filling up quite quickly. This is the first time we've ever offered it. So please get your reservation in so we can get the stay room for you. So then I'm going to take you on into Egypt and the Nile, since this is new this year. Very exciting. An 11-night itinerary without pre and post packaging. But our pre and post packaging is amazing. So you can include Israel, Jordan, or United Arab Emirates, Dubai. This is probably one of the most exciting itineraries that you will see anywhere in Egypt with one of the most beautiful vessels and a luxury vessel on top of that. The vessel, as I say, is amified. So it's your total amma experience that you get throughout Europe and all the other destinations. And I love these pictures as you see the Sphinx and you see the actual Nile River. And this is such a, a, a way of life, the camels. And you see them out in the deserts and, and the way that the people, the local people really live. And then of course, the pyramids of Giza. But we also now, um, we started this, as I said, in September. We sail from September to June, and then, and then again in 2022, of course, September to December. And we just wanna let you know that all of the sailings are available for sale for 2023. I will tell you, this has been a very popular destination. So we have a few staterooms left this fall, if you're available. But you must get yourself booked. If you're going in 2022 or 2023, you need to do it now. Yeah. It yeah. Been- for personal experience, we, we, were, we were looking at the beginning of June mm-hmm. for, um, for a suite in November of 2022, and we got the last one that was left. So yes. um, there, there's a reason that these are on sale for 2023. It's because 2022 is, is getting virtually full. And, um, right. so, you know, with, with one ship and just a phenomenal itinerary i mean the pre and the post land cruise when you when you look through that it just is a series of incredible experiences and incredible hotels and um you know everything has just been been put together in a top-notch way and you know there'll be an egyptologist traveling along with you who tells you what you're seeing because i don't I'm not as up to speed on my ancient Egyptian history as I should be, right? Right, right. right. And, and, and it is, it's very special. And we are also taking you to some places that no one else will take you mm-hmm. simply because of the expense or you need to have an invitation to do so. And, and we have managed to do that. So a very, very beautiful itinerary, three nights in Cairo, seven nights on board the Amadalia, one night back in Cairo with this fantastic special invitation to the presidential palace for a private lunch. And I think that's so cool. And then one of the other optional tours to Abu Simbel. And we are one of the only ones in offering this that you can book it ahead of time. So you can guarantee that you will get a seat on that small airplane that takes you. And as you mentioned, Ted, um, the Egyptologists, they are with you your entire journey. These people have degrees and certificates and education of these region, many of them from these regions. So, um, and they are licensed by the government for their education and their knowledge. So again, the best way to even imagine seeing Egypt is with someone who has all the knowledge to share. And this is the beautiful hotel, or hotel. This is a beautiful ship. And um, the ship only holds 78 guests. So again, it's very small. The, uh, this region of the world only gets about 10 inches of rain a year. So everything that we do for the most part is outdoors. Beautiful open air. Look at this. You can really enjoy the river. But we also have the reception area that, of course, the ship is air conditioned. No worries. Um, so you've got that comfort as well if that's important to you. And then the beautifully appointed staterooms. So this gives you an idea of the bedding set up, the beautiful fabrics that are used and how well appointed the staterooms are with space. Very important that you have a lot of living space and we don't have a lot of people. So again, more space per person on this beautiful luxury vessel. And then and having, I- that, having that week on board the ship is really nice. You know, some of the um, other companies out there only do a four night cruise and 
right. you know, the trip to Egypt ends up becoming kind of a marathon. You know, you, you get up, you have to move from hotel to hotel. You're only on the ship for a couple nights. And here it's at a much more, I'd say, much more civilized pace. So you can right. enjoy without, without having to be packing and unpacking all the time. Exactly. Or, or being in a panic of where you're going next. Um, and, and this is cute. We, we point this out all for fun. See, this camel is trying to kiss this camel. They said that this is Rudy and Christine's camels. <laughs> so anyway, these are our beautiful and special and wonderful owners. And here is Christine with one of the local guides out in the beautiful desert, um, des desert area where we have the, the Sphinx and the temples that we visit. And here you go again, and we, I think this is just so wonderful. We do lunch out in the, in the, uh, the plains, the camel riding. We do so many wonderful things that you really get to experience. You know, like all of our destinations, it is all about immersing yourself in the local culture with the local people. And they, we certainly get to do that. And then I have to tell you, um, this is our next itinerary coming. Um, it is in Colombia. It's the Magdalena River. We have joined partnership in 20, it'll be the end of 2023. So December of 2023, we have uh, our thoughts. Yes, it will all arrive in December. Uh, and then we'll carry on for 20, uh, 24 and many years to come. But this is a new destination for us. We are always looking for new destinations, new partnerships. We are partnering with Metropolitan Touring, which is a very, very well-known, very established tour company that will help us oversee everything in place that all the guests would want to visit during their visit on the Magdalena. And Colombia's diverse culture, of course, very diverse culture. The other thing is Colombia had for, for a time, it had a, a bad reputation, if you will. Totally. It, let me tell you, it has been totally changed. It is a very, very safe environment, a very beautiful environment, a very diverse amount of cultures here, very rich in heritage and music, uh, as you may know or not know. But the other thing is it's architecture. It has very, very diverse types of architecture that you see all throughout this country, all along the river banks and the river's edge. And it is a, the only number two place in the world with mo the more biodiversity than anywhere else. It's the second city in the world for biodiversity. So you are seeing these beautiful toucans. You are seeing all of these beautiful different breeds of birds, but along with other animals and other wildlife that are in this area. And I have to say, I did not know this. And I started reading about uh, this river, uh, the Magdalena. It got its name from Mary Magdalene. Mm. I did not know that. Oh, interesting. It, uh, very, very neat, uh, uh, you know, bit of history about this beautiful destination. And um, we will have our website up and going just as soon as we have finalized everything on this uh, particular destination for you. But I imagine someone said to me, when will we be open for reservations? I think I would think, I don't know this for a fact, but maybe the first quarter into the second quarter of next year. And then also I wanted to remind you, we have the Seven River Journey. So during COVID, we didn't really take any days off at Alma. That was a good, beautiful thing. And we came up with some new ideas and I kind of call it my world voyage through Europe, if you will. Uh, the Seven River Journeys. We have three of these epic journeys. We have a spring, we have a summer, and we have a fall. And we do have some cabins available. Not a whole lot, because this was very full very quickly, um, because people want to see all of these different areas. And you can see all 14 countries without ever having the hassles that you would see if you were taking a train oh. or motor coaching hotel to hotel to hotel. Nightmare. Yeah, it's nothing like that. So we have these, each uh, itinerary has a bit of a different river or a different swing or a different taste to it. So you can pick from these three different itineraries. But I highly recommend that you get rid of the wagon and get your reservations made because they, we are almost. So what's included? It, everything you can imagine with Alma Waterways is included. We will have one dedicated cruise manager as always on board all of our ships. All of your transfers, your luggage handling, your beautiful dining venues, and beautiful gifts and surprises along the way. 
So believe you me, it, you, it's the best and most wonderful way to see all these European countries. So the combination river cruises, we have a lot of people, we're seeing a lot of people that haven't been on vacation for a while, and you don't want to just go for seven or 10 days, but you want to do seven days on the river and then maybe spend a week over here in Prague or in Paris or in Munich or wherever you may be. And then you want to pick up a different ship. Well, we are going to offer you an additional 10% off of the lowest prevailing rate on your second sailing. So this is very important. And celebration of the wines. We have over 60 wines. I know we'd come back to that. <laughs> oh, these are fantastic. We do not take any other tours away. We just add to your options. We have a host on board that does three to four one hour sessions of their wines, most of them coming from the domestic destinations here in the US. And then we take you to the beautiful vineyards and the old world cellars of Europe to do your tastings, to experience some of their culinary tastings. Oh my goodness, I've done several of these. It is fabulous and wonderful, wonderful way to see and experience what the local people do. And many of the wines that we do, uh, our tastings, many of our little vineyards do not export their wines. So this is the only place you get a chance because they sell them locally. They don't make enough of them and they sell them locally and it's fabulous. So why groups with Ama Waterways? 2023 is fully open. Um, your complimentary tour conductor credits at nine uh, berths, nine full fare guests to the five staterooms, dedicated group coordinators, marketing support, and of course, we're saving your clients extra dollars. And this is uh, the group policy. Obviously, this goes into showing the extra dollars that your groups will be able to save. And we have group amenity programs on many of our sailings. So very, very important for you to know that. Our group deposit is $50 per stateroom. Five cabins constitutes a group. And you can have this fully refunded at any time. At any time, we'll fully refund that. Why consider charters and part charters? Oh my goodness, there's a million reasons for this one. But we have a 30 to 45% discount, the sailing first quarter of 2022. So that's new as well. If you have an issue with air, I know our hold times are long. Please, I apologize ahead of time. We are working as diligently as we can. You can't imagine how many calls we're getting about protocols. Our protocols are on the front 